Thank you very much. Mr. Brock, please. And uh, thank you, Auditor General, for your attendance and your team as well. I'm going to preface my questions um, with a comment. And since you released your reports, three reports last week, I've heard from hundreds of Canadians who have expressed their profound disappointment in this NDP Liberal government that over the course of almost nine years consistently demonstrate a lack of adherence to basic procurement rules. And to your point in this particular audit is you focus in on whether or not procurement, in this case to McKinsey, uh, provided value for money for Canadians. And I, I take a look at your overall message and you indicate quite clearly that federal contracting and procurement policies exist to ensure fairness, transparency and value for Canadians, but they only work if they are followed. So I'm hearing that, yes, the auditor is making recommendations and the department heads and organizations are saying, yes, we'll agree to follow those recommendations. But they already know what the rules are and they're not following it. And every audit that I have been privy to from your office consistently shows a pattern of disrespect for taxpayer monies. So a question to you is, how do you define value for money from an auditor's perspective? Uh, so th that's not always a simple question to answer. Um, in this case, we did um, outline in our audit report, I'm just trying to find the paragraph for you, I, it's paragraph 28, where we, we listed elements that we were searching for to, to demonstrate value for money. I would have told you that value for money during the pandemic might have been evaluated in a slightly, a slightly different way than it should be evaluated in the normal course of business. But we would have expected that uh, departments would have clearly articulated the need for a contract, what the expected deliverables were, whether all the deliverables had been provided, and whether or not the ultimate intent of that contract, so the outcome, was achieved. Um, so we, we most, uh, more than half, one, one or more of those we could not see being demonstrated. The Government of Canada has published on its website that it must adhere to four fundamental principles of financial management. One, value for money. Two, accountability. Three, transparency. And four, risk management. Government of Canada defines value for money as follows that public funds, taxpayer monies, are managed with prudence and probity, assets are safeguarded, and resources are used effectively, efficiently, and economically to achieve departmental and governmental objectives. A very specific definition. So, I know that you've indicated last week that your mandate, and you've indicated this numerous times, your mandate is also to refer criminality, should you suspect criminality, to the appropriate authorities. And I believe you indicated when a question was put to you whether you discovered any element of criminality. I want to confirm a couple of things. Your threshold for referrals is based on suspicion and suspicion only. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. I mean, it is very rare that we would refer something to the RCMP or to law enforcement before our work is made public. But we're always happy to talk to the RCMP once it's out there. But we have not made a referral in okay. this case. Do you agree that the government of Canada holds its position as a trustee over public funds? Do you agree with that statement? That it holds its position? That it... That it performs the role mm -hmm. as a trustee over public funds. Do you agree with that statement? I agree that it should be using public funds in a way that um, brings the best value to Canadians, okay. absolutely. You don't agree that they hold a trust relationship with Canadians? Well, absolutely. Every, every individual should trust its government. Sure. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to a potential criminal charge of breach of trust under Section 336 of the Criminal Code, a straight indictable offense punishable by a maximum of 14 years. The elements are there that potentially someone who made the decision to favor McKinsey on a broad range of departments and Crown Corporations 
could be held liable for the actions that they took. So did you direct your mind at all to the potential that there should be a breach of trust investigation by appropriate law enforcement? Very brief answer. Given the origin of this uh, of this audit, we were looking for whether or not there was uh, direction or uh, political interference. We did not see it in this audit. Um, if there was a, a concern around uh, improper use of public funds uh, in a in a way that could have been criminal, we would have referred it to the RCMP. Thank. I'm afraid that is our Question time, Mr. Brock. Though? That is our time. I'm afraid.